pa rin si Ryan. Hello guys, it's Sunday, July 12, 2020. Okay ba yung audio or pangit? Mabagal, no? Okay guys, so this is Nikki Yu. You are watching Faces Trader at Awesome 10X channel. Today, Sunday, 3 p.m., uh, we have some guests for you. I have my high school friends, Brian Ngo and Harley Nang. Kawai kayo. We are from Manila, Philippines. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit Filipino and English. So context clue for those who are watching us around the world. Thank you very much for watching us. Today, we're going to discuss our USA topic is uh, USA is at all-time highs. Am I late? So uh, do I start it off with Harley or with Brian? I'll ask you both. USA is at all-time highs. Are you late? Can any one of you answer? Go ahead. Sige, Harley first and then Brian next. Sige, sige. Uh, me first. Actually, um... But I think it's, uh, I think it's wrong. Eh? Kasi I should have done this before pa lang. Eh? So, um, when I started, I think the market already... Nag -ano na siya, it's already up about mga 20 to 22 percent. Eh? But ngayon, medyo mat, uh, ang dami ng all-time highs. Pero, ang dami pa rin like yung mga hawak nating IPOs and other stuff, like yung mga Chinese companies. We're still earning from these companies. Eh. Ang dami pa rin company dyan na kahit all-time highs na, kahit lupa ka na pumasok, you still earn. You still earn uh, 10, 20, 30. It can still double or triple. Eh. It's just a matter of time. Eh. Um, you're companies. Uh, so you are talking about Chinese companies such as Baozon. You're talking about Baidu. Yeah. You're talking about Chinese companies like Gan Limited, uh, Alibaba, JB, Tintuato. So for some for some have it, some don't. Okay, so um, and then uh, so you think that uh, you're, you're just really wondering why you started it now. But uh, the answer is not yet because you can still earn more. Um, how about you, Baldi? Uh, Brian, also known as Baldi. I call him Baldi. So, Hi. For me naman, I think uh, it's never too late kung kailan mo talagang mafeel na decided ka na to go into stock market. You can just start anytime you want. Uh, the, especially the global market, I think the potential of the companies that we are investing are really uh, limitless. I can say, lalo na when Nikki provides the studies sa mga company na pinipili namin. Oh my God, so enticing. Hindi ka, uh, hindi ka, mang, hindi ka matatakot to, uh, to, invest, to put your money on it. Yun, 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 yun for me. So, um, so yeah, I'll answer the question. The USA is at all-time highs. Are you late? Well, it's a matter of what company you bought. Uh, we have to ask ourselves in the next 2020 to 2030, what are the secular trends that are coming? So um, that are here, that only accelerated and had a stronger adoption. So guys, let me share a few screenshots of, uh, of things that I've been discussing to my uh, friends, to my students inside the awesome 10X, uh, 10X channel, inside the website, uh, inside our classes, no? So I'm sharing right now some things like um, sige, uh, we'll, we'll reveal to you a few things in our uh, in our channel in our you know our studies. Guys, uh, can you see the screen I'm sharing? Um, Validine lidar, July 6, 2020. Kita ba siya? Yep. Okay, so uh, you can see, guys, that um. Graph is going to become Velodyne Lider, the eyes of the driver, safe mobility as a service, and drunk driving for good and more. Be part of the autonomous ecosystem. I discussed it just this July 6th, as you could see in the class. July 6th, that would be uh, six days ago. Uh, you could see that uh, it had already a public merger with blank check firm Graph. Ford-backed Velodyne has been in talks since June 26th, and it got... Um, 
formalized. So these are the founders. Um, and then uh, just so you know, Velodyne LiDAR provides smart, powerful light detection and range solution for autonomy and driver assistance. Uh, Baldi and Harley, do you drive? Do you yes. both drive? Yes. I, I do. Um, but I think that our children in the next 10 to 20 years uh, might have the luxury to not need to know how to drive alone. So um, we are going into that autonomous driver-assisted ADAS. So um, that is actually a worldwide breakthrough. David Hall was a founder. He did this in 2005. And after 15 years, um, a lot of companies have already been um, doing this with patents. You could see that the adoption has happened all throughout uh, mobility, public utility. Uh, you have unmanned autonomous vehicles like drones, security, defense, mapping, last mile delivery, smart cities, industrial and agricultural. Uh, actually, I showed a lot of things inside my class. I'm going to just, um, this is not a lecture. I'm just going to give you a few of our picks. No? Um, I'll give it for you for free. Don't worry. Automated with Volodyne. You can see it's Alpha Prime. Study it yourself. Night Scope. Velodyne for security. Um, when you study the companies and the clients, uh, this is a fast preview. Uh. You can just see like the pictures now. When you see the future in the next 10 years, I am actually um, wondering what is keeping you to, see, to not see the future. So uh, this is interesting. Uh, March 26, 2020, Apple is selling LiDAR uh, for their iPad Pro. iPhone 12 will happen with LiDAR later this year. Actually, just on Friday, the reason why our picks in the, picks in the wearable technology like UV went up 28% because Apple is already starting to produce the autonomous um, augmented reality glasses, AR glasses. The scale of application of LiDAR is maangas, guys. Uh, whether you're a Filipino, whether you're an American, whether you're Chinese. You'd see this um, happening, the application is all over. You've got these like a uh, forest tree management, forest canopy measurement, crop viability, crop mapping, uh, transport planning, terrain modeling. To see the future in your eyes and to be able to actually participate in these great industries, I am actually happy. Um, Local Motors was in uh, Jay Leno's garage. Uh, Jay Leno is also a great uh, reviewer. You can see President Obama was talking about local motors June 2011. So uh, these things are, um, are accelerating uh, in their technology such that it's becoming mainstream. Actually, I discussed a lot of this in our class. So parang, um, I am so happy to share inside our classes the awesome 10x community. Um, my you know, my goal is not to make you um, buy something that you would not believe in yourself. In fact, my goal here is to educate you guys uh, and decide for yourself whether you want it or not. Because this is me teaching my knowledge. I'm telling you what I want to buy for myself, for my family, for my, you know, sometimes I think what my children in the future would want, you know, would, would have. So yes, I am a huge business, um, business focused mindset whenever I am choosing the companies I like. For a preview, um, we talked about July 2022 in our free class on Friday, Softback 9984, how to buy TikTok and grab at huge discounts. Um, we actually told, uh, we, we, we sent this, uh, it was uploaded on our YouTube channel. Um, actually, Sige, let me ask both of you right now. Let me stop my screen share. Well, what do you think about that video? SoftBank, uh, Masayoshi Sun, did it inspire you? What, what can you say about his investing style? Um, Masayoshi Sun invested in Alibaba when he was, um, this was year 2000. Uh, he bought 20% stake uh, at a $100 million company right now. Alibaba is worth over four hundred billion. So one dollar is four thousand dollars. So guys, um, what do you think? Uh, did you learn something inside that class? Do you want to share anything after watching my video? Um, say something. Uh, what do you think about that soft bank pick? 
go. Uh, Harley or Brian? Sige, Harley first, then Brian next. Um, all I find, um, let's, ano, let's talk about first the owner. Um, um, probably he would be, uh, he, he can be the next uh, Warren Buffett. Eh. That's how good he is. Eh. Kasi, during that time, yung mga nabili niyo yung companies, these companies, na, ang layo na nang narating ngayon, those, pa, hindi ko alam pa paano niya nakikita yung future eh, from from the, from these companies eh. and um hindi lang basa-basa yung mga company sa like tiktok how would you how would you know na it would be this big like for example eh, yung i think he he also eh, kasal ng yung uber diba uber and grab yes he has at the same time alibaba how would you know these companies na would make it super big in the future not only this these companies kasi uh, in in inside um SoftBank, the, ano eh, ang daming companies na malalaki lahat. Um, and each of that company na sa sector nila, gusto I think gusto nila maging number one in their kanya-kanyang sector. And based, based yun sa um sa class natin last time, di ba? So, when yeah, is no it your class? Ano eh, um, Nung kinagabihan, I bought that company. I actually, I have already have that company and I added more. This the bank up. Because I'm, kahit bumaba siya or pagsak man siya, hindi ako matatakot. Because I know this company has, it's solid. Eh. It has a very, very, it's a solid company. You know, this company would not only double in the future. It will, it might be times four. For, according to you, di ba? It could four times eh. And based based on um sa class natin pinagaralan natin siya. It's not uh, impossible for for the for that thing to happen. Yes. Um, actually, um, while while uh, while Harley and Brian are talking, uh, let me share to you a few things that uh, SoftBank has invested, guys. Nvidia, Didi Chu Sheng, Naoto, Slack, uh, Fanatic. Of course, uh, he got really punished on WeWork, but WeWork is just 5% of his portfolio. You could see that he invested in Flexport, DoorDash, Delivery, Grab, Bike Dance, which is the owner of TikTok, Kupang is the Amazon of South Korea, Oyo, Airbnb, Tokopedia, Arm. You know, uh, I discussed heavily about these uh, this topic. Um, I really like the fact that... Um, you know, SoftBank's group, SoftBank Synergy Group, is they want to have a global presence and be number one in all the industries. Uh, and um, if there's something that could actually beat Facebook today, I'd say that uh, ByteDance is something that uh, is giving Facebook a lot of headache. Take note that uh, how many downloads Facebook has, guys. We're talking about one and a half billion inside TikTok downloaded. Um, we're talking about TikTok, the most downloaded app versus YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. If you look at SoftBank Group today, the entire market cap is just less than $250 billion. And inside, I can easily see one of, it, one of each 88 companies becoming at least $100 to $200 billion. So uh, it's amazing to be able to just just latch on to the visions of uh, of SoftBank, and it's not something that I am afraid of because he has executed this very well. Uh, Flipkart was sold to Walmart. This is the online Walmart of India. Uh, maybe, uh, of course, this is not a topic on uh, SoftBank. I'd like to ask you now, Brian. Well, what did you think about that um, presentation you made just this Friday? um about softbank is it the winner are you afraid to buy it knowing what you know now actually after the class no friday i made sure na, na pag nag open ang market na 9:30 ng gabi i made sure na makabili ako ng softbank talaga sinigurado ko yun sinecure ko yun i uh, allocated uh, a significant amount sa portfolio a significant percentage sa portfolio to make sure lang na mabili ko yung SoftBank because I was impressed with the presentation that you showed on Friday, no Friday and grabe yung vision ni Masayoshi-san 
yung mga companies na pinipili niya. Um, siguro do sa TikTok, ay medyo na late na ako diyan kasi marami nang downloads. Pero yung the other companies na binibili niya, yung tremendous upside na nakikita natin, uh, doon ako, doon ako na na convince to buy this. Masa Yoshi, guys, invested in um, Masa Yoshi Sun has a 20% stake in Alibaba. $20 million is now $400 billion. Uh, sorry, um, 100, so that is times 4,000. Um, what's times 4,000, guys? How many people do you know can do that repeatedly? He, he, he funded Grab. He funded Uber, Didi Chuxing. These are the major smart cities. Everyone in the future, the consumers will. Um, I actually would share this on Twitter, guys. Um, I will now share a few things about, um, because Harley said a while ago that he already has it, but he added on his winners. Because, um, you know, what I learned is I have 10 cents at 50. I would be happy to buy it at 300. I even said, okay, 340, buy more. For 80, 400, buy more. Yeah, and then now it's 560. I had friends, clients, we said, nah, sorry, we didn't get, you know, we didn't buy Tesla at $17 IPO because at that point in time, sure, we liked Elon Musk, but um, we weren't so, we weren't executing buying excellence and i was like hating myself guys um before you know um i told myself uh 2019 people were discouraging me they were all telling me nikki 10 years after the bull market 2019 and you are focusing your your mind your energy all of your time in u.s market um i spent like 80 percent of my entire um you know I'd say portfolio in USA. 20% was still reserved in Philippines, but uh, 80%, let's say 80% in USA. And um, ang lakas talaga ng um, my, and, and I was entering it knowing uh, the same question as you guys might be asking now, USA, all-time highs, 10 years, 10 years na to, magbabagsakan na, recession na, um, and all that, like I've been hearing so much inverted yield curve, U.S. China tension. You know what I did, guys? I bought the secular winners that I knew was gonna win. So um, June 2019, um, isn't uh, something that people, you know, people can verify everything I'm saying because uh, I I did monologues about like my ideas, like um, I did it all in Spotify. So Harley actually said, "Na actually." Pinapakinggan niya pati mga 2019 ko. Tapos sabi niya, yeah, I was buying Pintuot ko, 19. Ngayon, it's 25. Livongo was at 26. I was looking at that company, Diabetes uh, Management. Now it's um 100. Zoom video. I was watching it, guys. In Pintuot 36. Now, look at Zoom video. 260. Some of us bought at 70, 80, 88. You were thinking, sayang, dapat ulit sa 64. I wanted to buy it, by the way, at IPO. I can't get it. So like, I had to buy 100% higher. Pero sabi ko, if it's going to go higher anyway, uh, this is the future. So yeah, Feb and I, I put this in my podcast, February. Um, hindi tayo madamate. Um, we share, I share it uh, on Twitter, on my podcasts. Anyone wants to learn? You know, people tell me, Nikki, you want to teach? Sabi ko, sure, let me teach every single day. Uh, YouTube, we do it daily, guys. This is a global market. Um, I do it daily, and I, I have uh, daily deep dives to those who want to pay for my classes, which are one hour deep dives. And uh, if you don't want to buy um, the classes, you can also just listen every Friday. We've got that uh, deep dive. TikTok was actually, um, SoftBank was actually my Friday deep dive. Last week, our deep dive was Boozy. And uh, people are now actually asking, Nikki, how do you find the time? How do you get all these winners? Because, um, did you get Boozy? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, ka? Or, you know, you pick. Kaya, the, you knew that the research was there, the hard work was there, it was just gonna be time, a little bit of time, and alam natin panalo tayo. Medyo, um, 
average intelligence and above average patience equals long term rich. I want to share this to people who are um who are actually asking us, Nikki, uh, how do you find the time to find your winners? Guys, I always tell them that I surround myself with with winners to find winners too. So uh, this is my faces Twitter at faces Twitter on Twitter. I've uh, I posted like the things that I've learned over the years. So I learned that uh, quality and investing is financially rewarding. It's an enormous peace of mind and no sleepless nights. I also know that there is a balance between buy and hold and buy and ignore. I also know that um, you know making money isn't easy. Preserving it is even more difficult. But um, diversification protects wealth. Concentration builds wealth. Whether uh, preservation should never be ignored, but uh, while focus is needed, diversification is mandatory. You know, um, we invest in several trends that are 10x opportunities. Let me share you a few things. Um, I have it here. I keep on discussing these things. Um, winners win. Um, I learned a lot uh, listening. I spend about two to three hours every single day. Um, without Panther, I didn't have to have a YouTube audience. I didn't have to have a Spotify listener, but it was my clients and friends who shared, who told me that Nikki, uh, why don't you share everything that you know, uh, to us, these are the companies, the opportunities that are there for you in the next decades. Uh, e-commerce continues to grow, streaming platforms, new entertainment, uh, esports industry, mobile payments, social media, new forms of digital advertising, enterprise software, cloud computing, 5G, direct to consumer, food delivery, ride hailing, millennials, generation Z, screen agers, Instagrammies, robotics, artificial intelligence, automation, OMO, which is online, merge offline, education, work from home, alternative needs, international expansion, globalization, athleisure, vanity, self-driving cars, clean renewable energy, crazy rich Asians, China, India, and Southeast Asia. Guys, um, you might think that um, things happen easily, but what you don't know behind the scenes is um, there was tremendous work involved. Um, I did hard work. Uh, three hours is minimum every single day, guys. Um, they know it because they attend my classes. They attend my classes, they just watch one hour. So what you don't know is that that one hour class happened because I've been reading five to six hours or even seven hours constantly, and I'm doing this every single day. Uh, so um, I was actually happy that my online education picks, like Who Learn, uh, 1797, we got, uh, both of you don't have it, but I told my friends, uh, 1797, $10, 10 Hong Kong. This is the online education platform for Hong Kong. Even before COVID, I believed in online education, guys. So um, I was buying during the IPO at 10. Lo and behold, after just a single year, guys, it's now 35. I'm going to share to you guys uh, what happened there. Let me share to you, um, the charts of what I'm talking about. Um, I, don't, I don't believe that um, I think in two ways, like talent and luck. Talent and luck equals success. And maybe strong success is talent and just more luck. But you cannot just rely on luck. This is not like me knowing that oh you know i knew that i wanted to buy zoom video but i didn't know that it will go times three in um in six months uh, sorry in, in five months so i didn't know that we would make 300 percent um i didn't know that our voozy call would be 50 percent in a single week guys um those who bought with us music blades last friday we had that in class now it's 60 percent Boozix is uh, partnered now with uh, Verizon 5G for smart classes. But um, it all happened. I do believe that uh, success and opportunity needs hard work. So if you don't want to, you know, do you don't want to do the hard work, let me tell you that I am so obsessive trying to find all these 10x companies that I even named our channel Awesome 10x. Um, because I said, you know, um, Innovation is not about making an improvement of 10%. It's about 10x. And uh, the reality is that 10x didn't, you know, it didn't start from me. Um, the seeds were rooted because uh, Google said that. Um, 
I tried to study all the winners, guys, all the life-changing baggers. Like, you know, I got so impressed with David Turner. I keep on telling this to class. I don't mind telling you who my idols are. I tell you that I work hard because I am so fucking insane work ethic of Kobe Bryant. Um, I love basketball. I also love winners. So, um, you know, even like for stocks, like I don't, I don't like ask people to tell me to feed me what company I should buy. I study it, so um, I I got like a. I mean, if this is the bragging show, okay. Um, beyond me sixty to two fifty. I at twenty five, yeah, IPO. Yes, we wanted to buy it, but I couldn't get it IPO. So no matter what, I got it on the first day, and uh, within three months, yeah, two fifty. Um, we had into a to ninety five. Mercado Libre for hundred to a thousand, Shopify three seven five to a thousand, Ocado one thousand to two thousand. Um, even just recently, yeah, Vuzix, Copen now. Hopefully, Copen goes up. We we are featuring that. Uh, first with the Tesla three hundred. Now it's one five. I featured Tesla last year two fifty and three hundred. Um, and even so, at at five hundred, at eight hundred, at one thousand. You know, we told people it's not late. Like, uh, you have to buy it knowing that th there was going to be the battery day. But if you find that yourself is late, sure, um, there is, like, we, we discussed this, the four months Tesla, Tesla. We talked about the Henry Tesla. For those who don't know who Henry is, it's high earners, not just yet. That's H-E-N-R-Y. I saw that you tweeted that early. Uh, word for the day, Henry. I earn her, not rich. Yet. So, um, pero, yeah, like, uh, like, you know, um, I am so, I am so in love with the secular trend that um, I wake up, people inspire me that I could m make my ten thousand dollars to a million dollars that it is possible. Um, for those who think it's not possible, CD project went from about three to four hundred. For those who know Cyberpunk 2077, Witcher series, maybe I'll give you some easy num names. Um, Netflix went from about 33 cents, sorry, a dollar to $550. Um, Amazon is one to 2000 I even have slides talking about, um, you know, you know um, it, it's about studying guys um i shouldn't talk kayo dapat yung magsalita uh, i should i you you guys should talk um what can you say about awesome tenex um is there something you want to share like uh did did you learn something from me what 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 can we learn from awesome tenex so uh brian sige brian muna then harley yeah. Well, alam mo naman yan, Nix, I've been interested to invest since way back pa anong graduate tayo eh. I think 2008, na, you, you've already mentioned it sa akin. And I was quite interested na way back before. Pero yun nga, um, siguro um, uh, ngayon is the right time na may, may, uh, I'm preparing for, yun, nagkakaedad na tayo. Uh, we have to prepare for our future, so... I think it's time to ano na, to put your money into goodness. So good nests. So yun, uh, I approach you. Uh, I ask you kung uh, you still offer your services, yung pagtuturo mo. Uh, naalala ko pa nga when the first time that I approach you nung nakita tayo sa BGC. Di ba ang tinatanong ko pa is can you can you manage it for me? Tapos um, you t you told me na Mas maganda if you will handle your own uh, account. I'll give you the picks. I'll give you advice. I'll give, I will tell you what uh, what uh, companies to pick. I justify mo naman kung bakit mo yun napili. Um, so, nung una medyo hesitant ako kasi sobrang beginner ako when it comes to trading. So, uh, hindi ko alam kung paano gamitin yung app. Hindi ko alam kung paano bumili. I don't know even how, I don't even know how to sell. So um it all uh, na ano na lang to na na kokunan let's go na ituloy ko na to. When uh, nag-usap kami ni Harley just last week, ba? Parang na uh, Harley said sige, 
yung mga small things na hindi mo na kayang itanong kay Nikki na medyo pang beginner na question. I'll, ikaw, si Harley na mag-guide sa akin. So, from there, I had the confidence na na, sige, go na. Basta, importante naman, Nikki will provide the pics. Nakita, nakikita ko naman how she presents. Uh, may mga companies pa nga na feeling ko, it's a mortal sin pag hindi ko binili. The way i present ni Nikki, lalo na no Friday. Mortal. No Friday. Hindi ko, ko makalimutan yung SoftBank, how you present it to us. Mortal sin yun. Sabi ko, grabe ha, parang, parang kasalanan nata pag hindi ko binili dito ngayong gabi. So sabi ko, sige sige, hindi pwedeng hindi pwedeng palagpasin. Um, so yun. Uh, the rest is history. Uh, I had a great start actually dong last week. Thank you sa thank you special mention sa inyong dalawa. Um, most of uh, most of the beginners siguro natatako kung uh, kung saan ba niya ilalagay yung pera. Ayaw nila magmukhang ewan na magtanong ng mga stupid questions like the, some terms na an ordinary people like me cannot understand na only experienced traders can ano can uh, can uh, can understand yung tinatanong ko na lang diretso like matter terminologies like i remember last week i asked Harley ano ba 'tong pinagsasabi ni Nikki na ladder in ladder in na pwede bang layman's term na sabi niya ano ba sabi ni Harley sa akin, ano ba, you just buy. Ibig sabihin, buy. Yun na yun. Tsaka, ano naman, ito pa isang uh, good thing with when I joined the Awesome 10X is uh, Nikki give the picks sobrang detalyado. Even the limit, kung anong magandang presyo mo siyang kayang pwedeng bilhin, uh, nakadetalya doon. So, hindi talaga ako natatakot. And... Actually, ako kasi mentality ko as an, as, as, a, as an investor, hindi ako matatakos ma, ma, matalo ng konti or mas konti yung kitain ko compared to my other uh, to other traders. Ang importante sa akin is uh, I get the company and uh, with the guidance ng mga presentation mo, Nix, yung mga companies na picks mo, yung mga 10x companies natin, eh, hindi, talaga, hindi talaga ako mag-hesitate na kunin yan kahit on a higher price pa. Hindi talaga ako matatakos. Yeah, actually, guys, uh, let me explain to you. I think um, to the people who keep on asking me, um, Nikki, is am I late? I have to tell you something. The only solution, talaga, is um, I think you have to understand, and I teach this to them about the asset allocation. Um, I told them um, actually inside the Awesome 10x, my understanding is everyone has zero knowledge. And um, after losing money, guys, uh, it's not as if I knew the system correctly. I realized that I needed to make money. Um, this is something that I don't know if I ever talked about. But um, so, so yeah, I think I said that my parents told me, especially my dad told me that, especially if I have a child someday, that um, what would I feed my child? And I really had to think about it, na parang, what would I do if my child actually asked me, Ma, what do you do? So, like, um, I wanted my daughter or son to know that, you know what? Um, your mom trusted CEOs like these, um, trends like these, and um that that I, I actually invest in excellence. So um it it got me into thinking that um if I was buying the right thing, and this is what all the great investors said. Um, the hardest part to actually do is purchasing the right company. Because if you actually purchase the right company, and I think this is what Jeff Bezos also said. Uh, in year 2000, people don't know who Jeff Bezos was. During the time, 1997 to 2000, yes, he was a great Goldman Sachs investment banker that went to the selling books. Um, now, of course, it's not just books. It's everything. And then if you really study Amazon, uh, it's not just e-commerce. In fact, half of their profits is uh, cloud computing, cloud infrastructure, which is Amazon Web Services, uh, with 40% market share in a $200 billion industry and 80 90% gross margin. Um, what I'm saying here is that um, he said uh, when he was the first who made a review, if I'm, so, if I'm selling this uh, book, Let's say I'm selling this book. Brian can say that, oh, Nikki's, Nick, Nikki's recipe isn't good. Harley is saying that it's right. He wasn't scared of reviews. Did, do you know that the first review, like the Amazon had, Amazon had an Amazon review. And people were saying that um, 
pag-review, di ba? Like, you should help people make a purchasing decision. Eh, paano kung sabihin ng tao na hindi masarap yung Amazon, hindi masarap yung hindi maganda yung librong yan? Um, okay lang ba na mabasa mo yung review na mga pangit yan, pangit yan? And then, parang what, you know what Jeff Bezos said? He said, my goal is to help people make a good purchasing decision. I'm not selling them books. I don't care if I sell a hundred books or a million books. But my 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 business is to help people make a good purchasing decision. Because if they had a good purchasing decision, it will be never sold. You never sell. If you bought Amazon at a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars or a hundred dollars, or you were like somebody like okay, I'll tell you what, 2015, Amazon um at four hundred dollars, or even just last year, or even just last three months. Amazon was 1.6, guys, uh, no March. Now it's 3.2. Now, you might say, how can a company keep on growing? And then actually, as early as April, this was a topic of mine. I had a client say na, oh my God, you're right. I was saying na, while everyone was losing their jobs, guys, Amazon was hiring 175,000 people. This is going to go all-time high in a bear market. It was so clear to me that Amazon was going to go all-time high making $11,000 of revenue per second. And that was, that was the impetus what, what, why I said, uh, for those who know me, I even coined terms. I said the Don Z era. We are in the Don Z era. D meant Domino's, A meant Amazon, the other A was Activision Blizzard, W was Walmart, N was Netflix, Z was Zoom. But actually, what I meant there was there were so many resilient companies in a world where people are talking about Armageddon. And so... um. Yes, we invested in all these things. Um, you know, people were saying, Nikki, what other e-commerce companies can I buy? And I said, Mercado Libre is there. Ocado is the greatest Amazon of UK. Um, and that was Ocado. I, I was impressed. I would never invest in something that I felt was not good. Like, I never wanted my money to be in something that will just give me 10%. I wanted, I wanted to buy a company that even if it fell 30%, I would be confident because it's going to go 300% maybe in the next five years or three years. So I was really, really thinking, what will I buy that I will never be losing sleep over? And I, and when it comes to like being scared, um, let me tell you this. Um, Harley can really understand this because I had the basketball analogy here. Eh? Uh, when Steve Kerr made a 1997 championship shot, People were asking uh, when Michael Jordan gave Steve Kerr the shot and he nailed it, 1997 championship finals. Uh, what if what would you have done if like what if Nikki gave the ball to Harley? Would Harley actually hesitate? It's actually about practice, guys. Um, Steve Kerr grew up, grew along with Michael Jordan. He said that and you can see it in the last dance. You know, um, Steve Kerr is someone I admire. He's the coach right now of Golden State Warriors, if you're not aware. Um, this guy has so many solid rings. A player, a coach. Grabe. Um, I love how Steve Kerr grew. I thought that, you know what, I'm not a Michael Jordan, but I can be a Steve Kerr here. That, you know, uh, if I just surround myself with like, the greatest of all times, I could. Harley, maybe I can ask you, like, any mga basketball terms natin na, 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 na connect ko sa stocks? Ikaw, like, can you tell me something? What about basketball na pwede natin i-connect sa stocks? Go. Muted siya. Can we uh, unmute? Go. Oh, sorry. Go um, lang. Na-assist na mo kami sa mga companies bago namin i-shoot sa market. <laughs> so, Pero that, practice, di ba? Yeah, um, I, actually, I started... Um, you give companies, pero hindi ko muna binibili lahat eh. I am hesitating at first. Eh. Takot ako at first eh. Pero as time passes, um, susunod, inaaral ko na yung company. Parang basketball, parang ina-assist mo sa amin eh. Mas, syempre, parang sa basketball before. Um, una, pag pinasa mo sa amin, takot kami tumira. Ganun, eventually, tumitira na kami. So, gaya nung sinabi mo, um, shoot lang ng shoot. So... Yun, eventually papasok din eh. So, there are times na we have these companies na nagaya nung last, this, this past week lang, you gave us Graph, you gave us Boozy, 
you gave us Copen. We bought every everything. I think pati SoftBank, lalo SoftBank. I bought uh, plenty uh, and added more. So all these companies, hindi lang ako ano eh, hindi lang basta siguradong may assist, may assist ka sa akin. Kasi binili ko lahat-lahat kumita for etong past week. Eh. So so far mas ano nga eh, mas turbo lang may assist ka from us kasi ang daming ano eh, ang, lahat yung kumita eh. Sa dami mong binigay, masabi ko eight, hindi lang 80, it's more than 80 eh. 80% kumikita talaga eh. So, ngayon na, ah, ngayon, kampante na ako, everything you, everything you tell us to buy, binibili agad namin. Wala na kami yung pakialam. Ganun kami ka-confident eh. <laughs> Kasi, He's we, confident we, because it's a system. Yeah, we already yeah. know your system. Because we already know your system. So, once you once malaman ng students may yung system mo na yung 5 yung 5 5 10 15 maximum can you discuss what the 5 10 15 is what yeah. 5 10 15 yeah um 5% uh for example uh if you really really love the company like kagaya ko uh, my favorite is Roku Spotify itong gan yung tatlong all time favorite ko eh so i bought 15% then, nung kumita, umakit na siya ng siguro mga 30 to 50%, nagbawas ako. Um, I sold 5%. Siguro, nagtira sa akin 10% na lang. Ganon. So, I trim. Ngayon, ang hawa ko sa Spotify, I think um, 7% na lang. Pero, I still hold it. I, I'm, I'm planning to hold it until mag-double, double, double, double siya. Until dumami. Until sagad na. So, you, you hold your winners. You know, you would know what your winners are. Malalaman mo eh. So, magtitira ka, hindi mo uubusin yan if you sell. Um, yung, hindi, hindi mo siya uubusin eh. Tapos, um, kunyari, um, you have this semi-favorite okay, semi na company mo, you you buy 10%. Tapos, pag yung medyo duda ka na company, 5%. Ano, so, whatever happens, um, down down yung market or up yung market, every day you're, we're earning eh. Kasi alam mo, you're, you're, the companies that you're holding are, mag, lahat magaganda. So, yun yung, yun yung system na nakuha namin sa'yo. Na, whatever, anong status ng market yun, up or down market, uh, kampante kami na, we're still earning. Kung bumagsak man yung market, hindi kami, hindi, kami, hindi siya masakit. Kung baga, hindi kami nawawalan ng malaking percentage. Like, yung the other day, I think down yung market, I only lost a few per, few percentage lang. So, the whole week, I still earn. Ganon. Um, Brian, do you have something to add? Or do I ask the next question? Or I, I add? Okay, ako. Ako muna. Ito, okay, ganito. Ako ang something. point of view ko. Yeah. Ako ang point of view ko when it comes to... Um, I joined... Uh, I invested... Or I, I started trading... Simply because one thing. I trust, magtiwala ako sa'yo, Nix. I can see kung paano ka mag-prepare, uh, kung paano mo paghandaan ang bawat lapis mo. Nakikita ko yung di, uh, uh, and I know you as a person. Alam ko kung, alam ko kung paano ka magtrabaho. Um, hindi siguro kung mag, I wouldn't try, I wouldn't uh, go into this kung wala yung guidance nyo pareho. So, yun lang. Um, Kaya ako, kaya, kaya lang ako, uh, uh, sorry. Kaya ako confident to go into this. It's because I trust you. And uh, nakikita ko kung paano mo siya pag, paghandaan talaga. So, kaya confident ako to do it. Yeah. Sige, let me add a few things that you guys said. Um, so, Brian said about the due diligence part. Uh, and then Harley talked about the 5, 10, 15 rule. Um, what I said to everyone, to all of my students is, if you have a $10,000 portfolio, you should be diversified to 20 companies. So that means that 5% each, so let's say I say SoftBank, uh, that means that I'm buying $500 worth of SoftBank. So that if SoftBank fell 20%, let's say my timing is wrong, but the stock I purchase is really going long term, I shouldn't be scared about a 20 to 30% drawdown because... I'll buy a $500 position into SoftBank 
again or if i don't want to i cut it let's say i lose a hundred dollars in five hundred dollars a hundred versus ten thousand is just one percent it's very rare for your 20 companies in very different trends to all fall down at the same time like uh last week last friday some of our picks like gan uh went from 27 to 25 but our Vuzi, but take note, Gan, we got it at 18, so um, we're still up. But but my point is we allow our stocks to have a breathing room. Like Roku was very slow in just about two, three weeks ago. Roku was 104, 105, 110. We have belief in streaming, connection, TV, and so we held on to it. Uh, last week, Roku went to $160, 158 and Roku close at 152, 153, but we're gonna be there for the next $200 move. Um, Roku was actually a pick of mine since last year um, at $40, but at 40, 90, 85, 105, it was never gonna be a sell to me because I knew that it was a long-term winner. So I'm um, sure you could sell at 130, 140. He mentioned a while ago that if the 15% of his portfolio went up 20 to 30%, he's going to trim that 15% down to about 10%. What does that mean? If a $1,500 capital went 2000 he can actually sell it the $1,000, redeploy that cash to some other new company, and he keeps the $1,000 because that $1,000 could go to $3,000. Um, it is not insane to think 300% moves because we're talking about three to five years, ten years. But now, I'm, I'm, you know me, actually, oh, I'm really surprised that some of our picks are hitting 300% in um, less than six months, guys. I'm actually um, also, uh, you know, there's a sec, I would say that there's a semblance of luck na rin, but you know that everyone is talking into our picks because we're correct. Like, um, people are saying, Saying to me now, wow, you got in at Zoom at 60, 80, and then um, now it's 260. But it wasn't like me getting it from, I mean, I knew it in my head. Sabi ko nga, I wasn't even able to buy it IPO $36, guys. So parang, uh, but, 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 but I told others that even at 135, it was going to buy. Um, There's a question a while ago, um, four, about dollar four. Uh, for four, um, I studied it a bit, guys. Um, for a $1.7 billion market cap, uh, this company is doing a lot of POS, points of sale on a lot. Like I'm talking about POS, POS on, um, I'm going to show to you my screen. Uh, I'm going to share a few screens. Huh? This is our Slack channel. I put uh, a few studies of mine here. Uh, so this is in the payments field. Uh, in the payments field, of course, you've got Square, SQ, and that this really remind me of Square. When I looked at the uh, four, it remind me a lot of Square. Uh, they do processing for, um, so here, I do, okay, so it is the leading provider of integrated payment processing technology solutions. The question that you're asking me, is, this a, is it a buy for me? My answer is yes. Um, the fact that the transaction data has been growing 40% in California, 70% in New York, Pennsylvania, 70%. New Jersey, 62%. Uh, by the numbers, uh, take a look at these. Um, you've got 25 plus years in business, more than 200,000 customers, three and a half billion annual transactions, $200 billion processed annually. And I can buy this company for just $1.7 billion market cap. Um, these are some of the brands that they are partnered. Uh, Arby's, Auntie Anne's, Baja Fresh, KFC, Popeye's. I'd say that any drop from 44 back to about 35 or 30, I'll be happy to buy them. These are their POS partners, Oracle, Hospitality, Focus, Posera. So um, POS Marketplace, uh, they are in works. They are already um, working with Uber Eats, Grubhub, Sling, DoorDash. They handle all these payments, third-party solutions for your online ordering. Is it a winner for the secular future? The answer to me is an undoubted yes, guys. So um, the dollar for to me, the way I'll do it is uh, if I feel that I'm late at 44, because um, so my friends probably knew this. I mean, I said, ma'am, I'm late. Uh, wow, I didn't know that there was an IPO as good as this in June. Now it's July, it's 100% up. But uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't stop myself to buy a great company. 
Uh, I will be willing for 44 to go down to 35 and I'll just allocate. Usually when I'm late, what I'll do is I'll just allocate 3% or 5%. So that's why my 5, 10, 15 rule is there. Now, if I'm really, really late, I'd enter, say, 2%. Because of the great winners, and I always tell this, the great winners never retest. They go all-time highs, especially if they're winners. Um, and I analogize, I analogize this all the time with basketball, guys. Like, you, you didn't have to buy Kobe in 1997. You could have bought Kobe at 2007, and you still hit championships. You still win championships. So um, you don't have to say that I was early here. If you are in a winner, you just have to have a small size and add on to your winners over time. Um, even if you bought Tencent at 500, now it's 560. Even if, you know, I, I remember somebody was asking, Nikki, it's already, uh, Tencent is already at 400. I didn't listen to you at 330. Can I still buy this? In fact, I have friends who said, Nikki, I'm so sorry. I didn't buy Spotify at 150. And I was telling them, my God, you know what I felt when I was buying it at 150 that I didn't buy it at 130. And so, um, and then the guy who told me, Nikki, I didn't buy that 150. I'm now buying it at 180. Is it okay? Uh, and then I said, yeah, because it's going to go higher. Uh, I, it's going to go higher. Now it's uh, 270. And I hear people telling me, Nikki, um, I know you're going to kill me, but uh, I didn't follow you at 150. I didn't follow you at 180. Now it's at 270. Should I follow you at 270? And then I said, look. If you missed my picks on June, July, December, February, why don't you follow my July picks? I have like these seven companies. Why don't you follow my seven July picks? It's in my awesome 10X. Uh, okay, guys, you, you have it for free. I'll tell you what my picks are. Go inside the My Courses, inside the awesome 10X channel. I share it. It's 2,000 pesos every month. Uh, you get to attend my classes that I do due diligence for. Brian's trust in me is not because I am his high school friend. That doesn't come from there. His trust, his trust in my system didn't come from there. He looked at my hit ratio, guys. Take a look at my hit ratio. If a, you know, if a, if a player, you give the ball to Stephen Curry, Steph Curry, sorry, Stephon Curry, sorry, Stephon Curry, you give that ball to Stephon Curry, his field goal shots in three-point area is like 47%. He's going to hit 47%. So you give him 100 shots, he's going to hit. It's gonna go in. You, uh, Harley was saying that he gave me a hundred shots. Eighty or ninety percent of them went in. I I assisted a hundred shots. Eighty to ninety went in. And then I said, "Man, that's great." I know I'm. Not, I don't usually do ninety percent. So um, yeah, the market now is so good, such that a good player who used to hit sixty percent of my shots. Although, guys, uh, twenty nineteen, my hit ratio is about seventy percent. So uh, I, I I do a better than average hit ratio really uh but um now it's i mean i, I don't know how, how how can i miss like uh, the, the the market is so great so um i mean uh this is our awesome 10x uh i'm gonna show to you our awesome 10x inner circle you get to see our our picks you see this july so we're we discuss soft bank we discuss blue city the gate tinder momo uh is this is the tantan this is the tinder of china um G gd auto this is the four man Cessna model 3 talked about silence for your 5g velodyne lighter which is graph uh boozy crazy smart glasses we talked about wearable technology uh inside this uh july we talked about copen yeah so we talked about uh even even apple we talked about apple and google um yeah so guys um we have the last seven minutes what do you want to share to um, our new channel subscribers? Um, somebody out there is really scared. How do we help them? How do we help them learn? Can you say something? Maybe, Brian, you just entered last week. Um, last week. And then people are saying, my God, uh, you're late. You're late. You're late. Diba? Like, what, what, what can you say to them? I'm never late. Uh, it's never too late. Well, um, there's no such thing as late when it comes to investing. Yun na masasabi ko. Um, I'm encouraging yung mga beginners talaga na wala pang idea. Go subscribe, subscribe kay uh, subscribe kayo sa Awesome 10X. Um, hindi kayo magsisisi kasi I've been there. Maintindihan niyo kung why am I so confident once you subscribe there. It's really big help for beginners like me. Hands hands down ako.
uh, saludo. Saludo ako sa Awesome Tenex. Harley, uh, Harley, do you have anything to say? Uh, yeah, sure. What can you tell, like, the viewers there who's so scared? Um, actually, uh, most of, I, I think most of the people are intimidated sa iyo. Kasi, yun yung feeling kong naramdaman na lahat eh. They're, they're intimidated to talk to you, ganon. Siguro nagkataon lang the friends sa iyo. Pero, hindi eh. Um, kasi, uh, kagaya ni Brian, sinabi niya sa akin last time, he, he is actually, yun nga, nahihiya siyang magtanong sa'yo about mga stupid questions. Actually, sinabi ko nga eh, I, I made a group chat for newbies na to help to help them na ask these stupid questions. So, I'm allowing myself to... Um, na magtanong sila sa akin anything anything any stupid questions about the market I'll answer them para kasi sabi ko if you ask Nikki rarely ang kanyan pero alam ko may hiya kay tanong eh so I'm giving my I'm giving myself to everyone na uh, if they if they have these um stupid questions I'm open open ako uh, tanungin ng kahit sino So I'm well kaya gumawa I, I made this group chat sa mga new especially the new members na friends namin ni Brian. Na, you can ask me anything. Um I'll ask you ko kayo. Definitely. Yeah. Guys, both of my friends are single. So um they might be asking you about stocks, yung pala pa simple to know you better. Uh, but anyway, um no worries. Uh stick to the topic ask stocks. Um, are there more questions? Sige, uh, can, can I get listeners to ask something uh, to us? When opening IB, um, here in the Philippines, we opened the internet, uh, IBKR, Interactive Brokers Pro. But we are non-professionals. So uh, we just take the non-professional, then we do $1 data. We, we are using IBKR Pro. Are there more questions? Or um, I have a few things to share. Um, something to inspire people. Um, I want to inspire people. Um, this is my face trader. Um, this is Charlie Bellello. He's a very good, uh, he's very good. Okay. So, um, I always say this is surround yourself with winners because winners win. Um, look at this. What an amazing stat. Your $10,000 is $10 million with monster beverages. Um, let's say you didn't know that. How about Activision Blizzard? Activision dollars, Activision Blizzard, ten thousand dollars is one point sixty-seven million dollars over the last twenty years. Of course, your Apple, your ten thousand dollars is a million dollars. Sir, um, your Netflix is um, your Nvidia's, your Amazon's. Uh, you know, maybe maybe those things might not get you to invest. You might say, "I'm late, I'm late." So uh, let me give to you a few things uh, to think about. Uh, how about just a week ago and, and a year ago? Sige. Um, a year ago and a week ago, right? Sige. Let me show to you a few things. Huh? Okay. Um, so uh, this is us. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm happy to share to you that uh, Spotify, yeah, we bought it 180. Now it's about 278. Stone Co., which is the square of Brazil, 25. It's now 40. We discussed that people in the freelance economy had to make some money. And so uh, the freelance economy would do well, up work from 14 to 16. Music's up 60%. Yes, um, work, which is Slack. We, we use Slack in our, uh, in our channel. Uh, 31 is 34. And I see it coming, uh, becoming bigger. There's a lot. Um, we can talk about like our last year's picks. If you don't want to uh, believe us, you can just listen to me on Faces Trader. Uh, listen to our Spotify. I, I had, you know, I discussed why Ballard was a winner. And uh, people said, oh my God, you did the due diligence on Ballard. Um, we were buying at 750 to 10. Some people got in at 11 and 12 and 13. Uh, Ballard today is at 20. We're talking about fuel cell leaders, alternative fuel. So you might say, oh my God, it's 20 now. I'm late. Um, sure. But don't worry. There might be entries for you. Uh, maybe in the next three months or in the next six months, the markets might fall. But I want you to concentrate yourself in um, in strong winners. Like uh, you want to actually buy strong winners because um, I'm going to share to you something that um, I actually have this. Um, 
I gave a free class. Every Friday, it's free. I discuss uh, how you double your money trading the markets globally. And I said that making money 100%, never, I never thought I'd make 100% like less than a few months. So, um, but the goal was there, like find structural winners, find superior growth companies, and find attractive valuation. So actually like a while ago, you guys asked me, Nikki, what do you think about dollar four? Um, yes, that is a great base. That is a great business to invest yourself yourself with. Um, you 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 can ask yourself like a, a few weeks ago, like my friend told me, Nikki, there's this company that's gonna get listed, uh, Kings of Cloud. Um, it got listed at seventeen. Kings of Cloud is now thirty eight. It went as high as forty. So actually, there's there's upcoming IPOs right now. Uh, Lemonade went three hundred percent. And I said, if we don't have Lemonade and we don't have OCFT, we might as well have SoftBank that owns them, okay? So if ByteDance is going to go 100% in the next three years, I'm going to make sure that I have Masayoshi son with me. I'm going to have Grab through Masayoshi. So um, I discuss about like the trends because the important thing is you should be investing in tomorrow's late leaders. Um, think about this. Um, there was an amazing stat. Uh, that uh, that recently, you know, um, Elon Musk went from about $20 million to $22 billion in net worth in 20 years because he's an innovator. He's an innovator. Um, you think about it, 1997, 1997, who was Jeff Bezos? Now 2020, he's the richest man in the world. Uh, eight years ago, you might be asking me, who's Zhang Yiming? Who's Zhang Yiming? You probably know Mark Zuckerberg. I was saying, guys, how many people know Forrest Lee? Forrest Lee is the CEO of C Limited, the owner of Dota, the owner of Garena, the owner of League of Legends, Free Fire. You know, who knew Ponima 1997? Who gave time to Ponima? Ponima, right now, you know, Tencent, we chat. We uncover winners. I said, Andre Street, Stone Co, 25, get in because this guy is a leader. This guy is a winner in Brazil. So we uncover winners, not just America, not just in the U.S. U.S. is great because we can invest everywhere. Like, uh, like who knew that who wanted to invest in Ethan Brown beyond me? Well, Nikki did. Nikki wanted Ethan Brown. Nikki wanted a Colin Huang in her portfolio. Nikki wanted an Anthony Wood. Nikki, now, for those who don't know who these are, Anthony Wood is Roku. You probably know Reed Hastings, Netflix. But, um, okay, you know Pluralsight. I also like Pluralsight. I think Pluralsight is the Netflix of education. You're a Filipino. Your child will not study Latin in LaSalle in the next 10 years. If they can pay $500 for a year and get the best education to learn right now, it's not even Python. Um, there's Fast API. Uh, and it's accredited by your Microsofts. The great thing about the future is you can always invest in the secular winners. Think about the best trends in the future, like 5G. Who's going to be the best when it comes to 5G? We said, okay, South Korea already has that 5G infrastructure deployment. It is already being done by Silinx, XLNX. So I agree that it's going to win. It's going to have earnings this July 30. Uh, they supply to your Samsung. They also supply to Huawei. So um, with China investing a trillion dollars in their infrastructure upgrade, you know, the future is not about railroads. It's about the data. It's about the cloud. It's about infrastructure. Infrastructure in your cloud, your broadband connectivity. I am talking to you online. We're talking about online merging offline education. So uh, I want you to study everything. This Tuesday, by the way, um, I have a special guest. He is uh, Jeff Chow, Jeff Sujanaris Chow. He's the, he's the ground zero when it comes to esports. Um, he, he is a player. He is a professional player, sports esports.
add me. Guys, add me. Hi, hi. Can I be seen? Okay, guys, I'm using my phone because my laptop died. Um, but um, so like there's so many win there's so many winners. I am so happy to invest in Limelight Networks. I'm so happy to invest in Akamai. Um, you know, when you study all the great winners of the future, you will just as as Brian Ngo said, it's like a mortal sin. It's a mortal sin not to invest in the best companies in the world. Like, uh, why are you stopping yourself? I actually invest a lot. I invest. Uh, I because because to me, in order to trade well, you have to invest well. Um, uh, what do I mean with investing? Yes, I do invest in excellence. Um, I want to hold a company for years. I could sell a few, like if I have a 15% position there and it went 50% up within a week, I could probably trim it to about 10%. Uh, that means like my 15 went 22.5, right? Because I'm up 50%. Eh? So um, I might trim it down to about 10%, but I don't want to sell all my winners because that 10% will become 100%. I am confident that, um, and if I'm wrong, I've profit taken and I'm going to find another winner. So um, I'm definitely of the camp that uh, secular winners mean secular. Secular means decades, guys. I'm not talking about making money the next week or the next two weeks or the next month or the next year. Um, when you're investing in secular winners, um, you're really holding on. Um, this is what Chris Mayer talked about, uh, life-changing 100 baggers. Uh, you know, I cannot finish teaching everything for you in a in a single hour but do follow us like uh you're in the awesome 10x youtube channel uh for those who want to enter our classes we have awesome10x.com it's every day so yeah and, um you can also just stalk me listen to me on twitter i talk incessantly on twitter my my handle is at faces trader uh and uh yeah so like uh join our classes i mean you get to meet other people uh, and most especially, you get to meet the greatest companies the world has for you. Um, I, I did this for my future children, actually. Uh, I want my, my future kid to know that his mom or her mom invested in Apple. Like, uh, I, I really wanted, like, uh, I, I want them to be proud of the... I want you to be proud of the companies you own. And if you're not happy with that company, dump it. So, so there. Um, what do you guys want to... Like, uh, yeah, so like... Um, I'm gonna say goodbye. If you guys want to say anything, oh, we we're past like an hour. Um, yeah. So um, success takes decades. Um, people underestimate the changes that happen within decades, and they overestimate what's happening in a day or two days or five days. Uh, take the long-term view in companies that you want to really invest in, because uh, the future is wonderful. The future is wonderful. Brian, Harley, kayo naman. Say something to them. Wala. Wala. Uh, ako, all Wala I can say is, uh, yun lang. Hindi, ito nga. Ito, I'm gonna add. Ah, uh, konti ko na lang. Yun. Uh, huwag kayo matakot. Just uh, go invest. Kesa bumili kayo ng mga stuffs dyan nga. Cars or uh, property. Go invest. Make your money work for you. Ako, yun lang. Yun lang yung, ano ko. Yun lang yung stand, ano ko. Principle ko sa buhay ko. Harley, ikaw, uh, nakamute tayo. Yeah. Oh, go. Mm. Um, I'm actually excited. Um, I'm actually, yung feeling na you already nag-earn ka na ng malaki. Then, alam yung excited ka pa to earn more. Pero, na, excited, I'm excited ako gawin to everyday. Actually, for the next many years, I'm, I'm really excited. Yes, I've been, I've been fun doing you for many years na eh. Alam naman natin yun. Pero, Yung mga early years ko, I've been parang practicing eh. So ngayon, I find, hindi ko naman sinabi, expert na ako ngayon. Parang, I find myself na, I, I already know, every um mostly. So, I'm always excited. As in, every day. I'm, pa I'm passionate about um about this. um With what I'm do doing, I'm happy to be part of this. Yeah. I'm happy to actually invest in the best companies of the decade. So, um, yeah, actually, to me, I do believe in long-term investing. Um, yeah. I think that great trading is a function of learning what to invest in the first place. So, uh, in fact, um, 
maybe maybe what people should learn how to do is choose choose which companies to invest in diversify we have that 5 10 15 rule um and i'd say that for anyone out there scared money never wins uh, i'm not somebody who put like 100 percent of my portfolio in one name in fact you know my, my my child will curse me he won't have something to eat in the future if i did that so um <laughs> Sinugal ng nanay mo yung pang mo anak. Hindi ko ginawa yun, guys. Hindi ko ginawa yun. So, um, it's about asset allocation. You have to have cash for your emergencies. And, um, but at the, but, but the end of the day, you want to invest in the future. You want to invest in the winners. You want to invest in excellence. Um, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna end this, uh, you want to invest in excellence. Please keep on reminding yourself you want to invest in excellence. Buy excellence, sell mediocrity. Buy great businesses and not great valuations. Remember that, and I hope to end and see you again. Tomorrow is another awesome 10x channel show, so see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Charlie. See you. Happy weekend. It's Sunday. Sunday in the Philippines. See you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Close.